um, I have a quote here from Guruji Ma, which says, if you think you are at all times the manifested form of a spiritual consciousness that is purposefully, intentionally desiring to express through you and through your life. And I say that again. If you think that you are at all times the manifested form, a physical form, of a spiritual consciousness that is purposefully, intentionally desiring to express through you and through your life, then you will at all times be attuning to the question of what is it that I'm doing here and what am I meant to be doing? This is the path of Dharma. The path of Dharma is, is understanding whether it's knowing or having faith in or just trying it on for size that you are at all times a manifested form. So this human person with hands and legs and a heartbeat and a liver and teeth and thoughts and beliefs and all this stuff, a manifested form of a spiritual consciousness. So there's a spiritual consciousness that is behind this manifested form that is making this manifested form happen, bringing it into being. And it is doing that purposefully, intentionally, and it's desiring to express through you on purpose. The spiritual being, the spiritual essence is desiring all the time intentionally to express through this physical being and through the, my life, one's life, your life. This, this spiritual consciousness is desiring to express through our lives. Having that faith, having that, you know, again, even trying it on as a, as a possibility, this is walking the path of Dharma. Because then you will naturally be attuning to the question of, okay, what is this consciousness trying to manifest through me? Instead of what do I want? What do I not want? What am I afraid of? What do I want more of? Instead of all those things, the question becomes, what is this spiritual consciousness, my soul, my deeper being, trying to express through me? What am I meant to be doing? What am I doing here? What is the purpose of my existence in this moment? What is, and you know, we use the word existence. Existence is a big word. What is the purpose of my interface, this inner being and the outer world, this situation that I'm in, the people that I'm with, the things that I'm, that I'm, are imposing themselves on me right now. What is the purpose of this and how am I meant to respond? I mean, this can be true in an easy moment and it can be true in a difficult moment. It, you know, when, when something uh, that we don't want to happen happens, we tend to become anxious and controlling and we want to quickly grab control. The alternative is to say, okay, What's going on here? Let me just, you know, check in with the deeper reality, what's going on here, what's happening. But that requires some faith, some, some trust that there is a deeper reality. We are living in a world that is increasingly confusing because it's very hard to tell what's true. We read things on the news, we see things on social media, people tell us things. And it's hard to know if those things are true. Facts and reality itself is questioned all the time. People have different motivations for spinning things in certain ways, uh, you know, and in the face of that, the path of Dharma, the path of going inside and allowing and touching into who am I, what is going on here, what's being called forth from deep within me, it takes us out of that spin. It takes us, it doesn't matter what somebody's trying to do, what their motivations are, what they're, you know, all that matters is what is trying to come through me in this moment. 